I'm Tom Steve, General Manager of the Alberta Wheat Commission. We're proud to put your checkoff dollars to work by investing in research that maximizes crop performance, positioning farmers to capitalize on market opportunities, strengthening the farmer voice on policy issues, providing extension and education tools to improve performance, and celebrating the positive story of wheat, life's simple ingredient, as a nutritious and wholesome staple of your family's diet. This year, AWC is celebrating its fifth anniversary of serving the province's wheat farmers. We've also made a few administrative changes to our organization this year. On August 1st, we transitioned to a single checkoff of $1.09 per tonne, following the end of the Western Canadian deduction. This change saves farmers $0.09 cents per tonne on all wheat sales from the $1.18 farmers were previously paying through the combined AWC and WCD checkoffs. In September, we were excited to announce a new pilot project with Alberta Barley, operating as one management team with a shared general manager over a four-month trial period. I'm proud to lead this historic initiative with the goal of streamlining our already collaborative relationship with Alberta Barley to create better efficiencies and greater value for Alberta wheat and barley farmers. We believe that we're better together and I'm looking forward to working with both the Alberta Wheat and Barley Boards of Directors to determine our path forward following the four-month trial period. Now let's join our management team as we take a look back at AWC's fifth anniversary year and outline how we've put your checkoff dollars to work. This fiscal year, the Alberta Wheat Commission Research Department invested in nine new projects valued at just under $1 million. Our total research portfolio is valued at $7.3 million. A key accomplishment this year is the formation of the Canadian Wheat Research Coalition. This coalition is a federal not-for-profit corporation that will facilitate long-term research investments in Western Canada. The coalition's main goal is to improve the profitability and competitiveness for wheat producers. Its founding members include the Alberta Wheat Commission, the Saskatchewan Wheat Development Commission, and the Manitoba Wheat and Barley Growers Association. The coalition will facilitate a collaborative funding approach to regional and national research projects. Projects will be a combination of both breeding and agronomy in scope. 2017 is a landmark year for rail reform in Canada, culminating with the federal government's introduction of the Transportation Modernization Act. Historic legislation that promises to provide long-term solutions to Canada's green transportation issues. AWC pressed hard for the introduction of reciprocal penalties. This is a mechanism that's going to create accountability in a monopolistic rail environment. When Transport Minister Mark Garneau introduced Bill C-49 this past May, AWC was extremely pleased to see that the legislation included reciprocal penalties. This last year has seen some major developments in the renegotiation of NAFTA and the continuing negotiations of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. During the NAFTA negotiations, we have advised Ottawa that maintaining open access to the U.S. and Mexican markets is crucial for Alberta's farmers. The United States is Canada's largest wheat market, and maintaining tariff-free access to that market while harmonizing our regulatory processes is a high priority. AWC has taken a leadership role in calling for the modernization of Canada's grain grading system. We have been advocating for a market-based system aligned with international specifications that would allow farmers to realize the true value of the grain they produce. The majority of wheat in the world today is sold to end-use customers based on specifications such as falling number, while grain companies pay farmers based on a visual grading system that doesn't always reflect the true value of the product. Policy has always been about partnerships at the Alberta Wheat Commission. The most effective way to advance policy objectives on behalf of our members is to work collaboratively with our industry partners. 29 crop and livestock commissions came together to form the Ag Coalition. The Ag Coalition's purpose is to interface with the provincial government, specifically with Alberta Agriculture and Forestry and the Ministry of Labour, as it relates to Bill 6, the Enhanced Protection for Farm and Ranch Workers Act. And the outcome of this collaboration and ongoing consultations was the formation of an industry-led farm and ranch safety society. Building on our theme of collaboration, the Alberta Wheat Commission founded the industry-led Fusarium Head Blight Working Group. The working group was formed in response to a resolution that was presented at Alberta Wheat Commission's 2017 Annual General Meeting. The FHB Working Group is engaged with the provincial government and will continue this collaboration through the formal consultations in the fall of 2017. AWC has also provided leadership on critical financial policy files, including the government's proposed changes to cash ticket deferrals and tax planning as it relates to private corporations. In fact, the Alberta Wheat Commission was the first agriculture group to meet with both the Prime Minister's Office and Finance Canada 
to ensure they understand the farm level implications of these proposed changes. We continue to provide leadership on policy matters that are of importance to our members. As part of Team Alberta, which includes the four major crop commissions in the province, barley, canola, pulse and wheat commissions. Because our members grow more than just wheat, collaboration ensures their checkoff investment yields the greatest possible return. The Alberta Wheat Commission took a lead in organizing the development of the Fusarium Head Blight Risk Tool for wheat growers. It was available during the growing season in 2017 and would be available in future years. The tool was built by Alberta Climate Information Services. The model uses temperature, relative humidity and precipitation to derive a risk level. The system is tied into over 350 weather stations across the province. When a grower opens the website on their mobile device, they can choose the closest weather station to their field, providing them a detailed local risk assessment. The risk tool is not a forecast. It provides a risk and should be used as another tool in making decisions. One of the newer communications channels that we launched just this year is called Wheat Watch. Uh, Wheat Watch is an agronomy focused tips and tools newsletter. In creating Wheat Watch, we've been working really closely with the province's cereal specialist, Claire Langlois. Claire's been a fairly regular contributor to Wheat Watch, along with a number of others throughout the research community, just to make sure that farmers have that extra level of expertise that they're looking for. Farmers can sign up to receive news from Wheat Watch and any of AWC's other publications by subscribing at albertawheat.com. Another exciting thing that our communications team has accomplished this year is launching Life Simple Ingredient this past spring. Life Simple Ingredient is a consumer campaign aimed at encouraging consumers to enjoy the wholesomeness and versatility of wheat. Life Simple Ingredient is a primarily digital campaign where we're sharing wheat-based recipes, stories about wheat, nutritional information, and events that bring communities together. I would definitely encourage farmers to check out our campaign at lifesimpleingredient.ca and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. In July, AWC, in coordination with Farming Smarter, held a wheat-specific field day, Wheatstock, featuring a live band, some of the best in provincial wheat research, and fun field games, Wheatstock was a hit and a welcomed addition to the field day circuit. AWC has been working alongside our counterparts, Alberta Barley, and provincial cereal specialist, Claire Lingois, to present the Cereals Innovation Symposium an event aimed at giving our producers the opportunity to hear from some of Canada's best in cereals innovation. To find out more about our events, go to albertawheat.com. With our sound financial policies and procedures, paired with our ongoing values demonstrated to stakeholders through core programming, our refund rate continues to consistently remain under 5%. In fiscal year in 2017, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, Agri-Risk Initiative Funding Contribution for PDQ, a web-based commodity pricing platform to improve market and price transparency was concluded. Our finance team diligently handled the funding from AAFC for this program. Our board's responsibility is to guide the work our management team is leading on behalf of farmers. A lot of the work our management team has discussed involves collaboration at the national level through our membership in organizations like Cereals Canada and Grain Growers of Canada. AWC's directors also maintain a number of committee positions on industry groups. As a member of Cereals Canada, a few of our directors participate annually in new crop missions. Through these missions, it's our role to promote high quality Canadian wheat and to offer insights about sustainable farming practices. In October, Terry Young, one of AWC's directors, was voted in as the chair of the Canadian Wheat Research Coalition. Over the years, our directors have had several opportunities to appear as part of government-led consultations to advocate on behalf of our industry on key policy files. Most recently, our team traveled to Ottawa, where I had the opportunity to appear before the House of Commons Standing Committee on Transport, Infrastructure and Communities to provide the producer perspective on grain transportation by rail, and to urge quick action in passing Bill C-49. I was proud to take this opportunity as the only provincial group included in this process. These are just a few of the examples of the work our team is doing to advance our sector. I would definitely encourage farmers interested in taking a leadership role to get involved where there's an opportunity for election.